Okay, so we're going to take a look at tic-tac-toe, which is a game you probably all have played, but let's start with a little intro. So you have a board like this, and people alternate between putting in X's and O's. So player one would be an X, player two would be an O, and they take turns trying to get three in a row. And usually if you have smart people, it ends up like this. Nobody wins. So we could think about representing tic-tac-toe as an array where we have nine squares numbered zero through eight because we start counting at zero. And for example, you might want to check, given the squares that are present, is there a winner? So how do you check if there's a winner? Well, you want to know if there's three in a row. So we would check first if zero and four and eight are all equal to X or if they're all equal to O. And then we do the same check for one, four, seven and then for two, four, six, and for three, four, five, for zero, one, and two, for six, seven, and eight, for zero, three, six, and for two, five, eight. Uh, there's more efficient ways to do this, but they get a little more complicated in terms of the code, which is not something I'm quite ready to have you do yet. So that's basically the series of checks that you would make. So if we're checking to see if player two who does O is the winner, you check for each of these things to see if all three are equal to an O, and if they are, that person wins. I'm going to have you start writing some code for this. The idea being that we could have some people playing, you are storing their moves in your array, and then you want to check to see at each move if you have a winner. A couple things that you should assume. Uh, assume that each position is blank in your array, unless someone has made a move, and then it'll be equal to X or O. I would suggest that you use a consistent case, so either uppercase X's and O's or lowercase X's and O's, it'll just make your life easier. And there's one piece of syntax I'm going to give you as a hint. Uh, we saw how to do AND or OR, and if you remember, AND requires both things to be true, OR requires just one of them to be true, but you can put those together. So what I have here is I'm saying if this group is true or this other group is true. So just one of the groups has to be true, but within the group we require an AND. So the first group is true only if X is 1 and Y is 1. Or we can check to see this group if X is 2 and Y is 3. So you can use parentheses to group things together. So you have your ORs grouped to get, uh, your ANDs grouped together separated by an OR. One thing to remember is that uh, you want to keep your ands and ors separate. So here we have just an and inside the parentheses. Here we have just an and inside the parentheses. Here we have just or separating the group. You wouldn't want to have, say, x equals 1 and y equals 1, and then in the parentheses or y equals 2, because it doesn't know which thing is ORed and which thing is anded. So try to keep them grouped together. So that's your task. Go out. Make a tic-tac-toe board where you're storing the information in an array and check to see if someone's a winner. We're going to expand on this throughout the term, but this will be a good way for you to get started.